Spitwads, if you're looking for ways to skip the trip to the post office and dodge all that hectic holiday shopping traffic, why not save time and money with Stamps.com? Honestly, you could end it right there. Spitwads, just say, who who likes going to the post office? Because the answer is nobody. The people that work there, they don't want to be there. The people that got to ship mail, I don't want to be there. And that's why Stamps.com is so fabulous. They let you compare rates Print labels and access exclusive discounts on UPS and USPS services all year long. Like maybe you're selling online, you're running an office, uh, a side hustle, whatever it is, stamps.com can save you so much time, money, and stress during the holidays. Us here, our headquarters, longtime supporters of stamps.com. They support this show, and we support them because we use their service. Right now, you can save time and money this holiday season with stamps.com. Sign up with the promo code SPITBALLERS for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code SPITBALLERS. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Now, welcome people in, Andy. Then I have some questions. What? <laughs> Formalities aside, <laughs> welcome into the Spitballers podcast. Perfect. Now that we've done that, I don't know. So, so when we hit record, uh, we don't get to see all the fancy graphics. Right. Okay. Like they. Oh, they're so fancy. Yeah. The producers, they take care of that. I, it's magic. I have no idea how it gets done. But I'm watching. So, so all I see is Jason on our monitors over here. Eyes, and eyes closed. Eyes closed. You're feeling it, and then it seemed like almost right before, just like right before the scat goes up, there was there was a a, a mouth closed belch. No, 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 what no. Was, it wasn't a belch. Well, here's what it was. I was I, I my eyes were closed. I grabbed the microphone. I'm getting. I'm feeling it. Uh huh. So I can get into the. And you're telling me you didn't burp. No, into no, your no. Mouth. No, 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 no. What I did was, <laughs> as I, as my eyes were closed, I was going. I hit my face into the microphone. <laughs> And surprised myself. Um, so I mean, it was, like, was good. Hopefully, there's video of that. The, yeah, I, I don't know if people saw, it, but so that's something you've never experienced as uh, one who has done the the band life. And like, lucky for you, we have these. I don't know, it, it, just windscreen pop, pop filters, so that it's real soft. But when you're doing band life, and the uh, the fifty sevens are out there. Have you smashed the tooth on it? Oh, yeah. So many times. Like, you're feeling it. Your eyes are closed, and you go up, and you just tink, <laughs> and you you catch a front tooth oh. right to the microphone. So if, you, if, if you're if you ever watching- Which is just metal. If I mean, you're ever just... watching your favorite singer sing, and all of a sudden their head just <laughs> jolts real bad, you know it's because it was a it's an SM57, right? The teeth. Wow. Insider oh, information. Oh, it is. Sucks. From the it's... stage. Or-, or you got the static, and those things can electrocute you on your mouth. I don't know if you guys know about oh, that. Oh, I too. have. No, I have, I have experienced that. I've experienced the whole electrocuting through that microphone before. Yes. It's Sounds dangerous. Worst. Like, oh, how how have we not figured that out? Well, we. I'm wearing rubber shoes. We're basically cavemen. <laughs> Would you rather Jason explains highway to spell in a an elderly draft on today's show. Thank you for joining us at Spitballers Pod on Twitter. SpitballersPod.com is the website. Thank you for subscribing, reviewing the show. Your reviews brighten our day. Sometimes we're feeling down, and yeah. we pull out the old Apple podcast, and we scroll mm -hmm. over to the reviews, mm -hmm. and we scroll past the bad ones, and then we go to the good ones, and they just brighten our day. That's I establish my worth to my children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen to what I, sh I show them. Listen to what this guy says about daddy. I say uh, uh, Jack Jackal 57 over here. <laughs> right, yeah. He's super into my podcast. Three out of five. Please listen to what <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. Would you rather? I like this question. It's almost like a game. 
Uh, Jackson from Twitter, not Jackal57, but Jackson. Oh, it's probably the same person. Jackson. Yeah, they're all the same. Without Googling exchange rates, would you rather oh, have? Oh, here we go. I'm, I'm here for this. All right. Would you rather have 100,000 U.S. dollars? Okay. Mm -hmm. 100,000 Australian dollars? Oof. No. 100,000 Great British pounds? Yes. Uh, 100,000 okay. euros? Maybe. <laughs> 100,000 Chinese yuan? <sighs> okay. Okay. Um, wow. uh, Australia's out. Their currency's garbage. Okay. I'm so happy you're here, Mike. They're just Are they just eucalyptus leaves that yeah, they like, hand out? They're just like this island in the ocean. They're like, check out our currency. It's, it's, yeah, where does this spend? Like, what on is this? islands? <laughs> it's worth like 30 cents at uh, the most. Now, pounds and euros, it used to be pounds over there. Then it became euros. Now, they're, are they going back with the Brexit stuff? I don't know. That's, that, so that's that, a good question. Are they keeping the euro? <clears throat> that was a question I had when Did, seeing the euro and the pound. I was like, wait, something happened there on the other side of the world where this is going to, this is a trap. And one of these might be more valuable. Mike, you seemed in on one. I think that was the pound. Yeah. Oh, the euros are worth more than dollars. I'm pretty are they? I'm pretty sure. The, the, the pound forever was almost like a 1.8 to 1. The, the British pound was worth a lot. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, because they're also a stupid island. I don't know if the Chinese yuan are worth consideration. Dude, here. here's the thing. So I obviously different currency completely. Yeah. But I'm scared because the hit, hit sensation Squid Game. I was, right. I was gonna bring it up. I mean, I, the, you know, that's that's the Korean yuan, which I assume is different. Um, and the Chinese one. Yes, because totally different countries. And one but, and one makes two. <laughs> oh, but, <laughs> boo, boo. boo. I don't know. I kind of like so that bad. one. One and one <laughs> makes two. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank but, you. But that one is like egregious. <laughs> you know, they're given like a $10,000 bill for right. to pay for a fast food Yeah, different food currencies snack. have different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm going to go with the Chinese one. That's my final answer. For real? Yeah. Oh, I'm is that because of inflation of you? Wait, no, that's the inverse is what you're yes. saying. Yes. No, oh, you no, said I'm not. No, no you no, said no. final answer. No, no, no. Hold on. Pounds. Owl. Owl. Is he allowed to take back a I, confirmed I final it. answer? Hey, it's up to Owl. Uh, you did select Chinese one. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. I have no doubt. I mean, um, it could pay off. You're right, though. It's the inverse. It is the inverse. Right. Where it's like 10,000 yeah. is nothing. So uh, if I had a second answer. What would you go with a, if you had a second answer? I think I'll answer? go euros. I'm going U.S. dollar. Okay. 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 Half of its fear. Half of its fear. <laughs> Just what? Um, because I don't want to get this wrong. I know how much a th hundred thousand U.S. dollars uh, is worth. And yeah, that's <laughs> that's a hundred thousand. About a hundred thousand bucks. And it's about a hundred thousand bucks. Um, but here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing. Let's say. <laughs> let, let's say. It's a child is that. Um, that's a man who buzzed in too early. Let's say that one. <laughs> One of these, one of these currencies is worth, you know, twenty five percent more. Yeah, I don't. Oh, just, the pound is definitely worth more. But I still have to do the whole conversion. Oh, you just go to the airport. I don't want to go to the airport with a hundred thousand. For, for fifty thousand dollars, you wouldn't go to the airport. Wait, you're telling me it's that egregiously different? I'm telling different? you, it's insane. Yes, it historically. I don't. I know want to know the answer by now. All right, I'm uh, I'm U.S. dollars. Okay, well, well final first answer. Off, first off. We just need to bring up like the euro is not that old. Like that. No, it's new. It's that when currency, the union happened. That currency was created while we were alive. Yes. Which is like, which is why it's more than the dollar. It, yeah, because it can't have that much inflation. Yeah. Which is also like, what money is not a real thing. Economists <laughs> are screaming at their radio. What right all now. ten of them? There's, <laughs> they're not listening to this. They show. did like the one in one <laughs> joke. <laughs> the whole yeah, they were a All big right. fan. Can we get it, uh, Mike? You okay. gotta lock in. I'm going. I'm going British pound. All right, what's the, the euro answer? can eat what's it? What's the most valuable? All right, Mike. Uh, he got the most valuable one. You're darn right, I did. You okay. have 137,000 U.S. dollars. Oh, 37 grand. Oh, that thing is lost. Jason, steam. you have 100,000 U.S. Oh, dollars. Yes. <laughs> and Andy, you have 15,666 yeah. dollars. Oh. Yeah, in my fake answer that I quickly changed. <laughs> that I quickly answer. said, look, final answer locked in. When you, when you buzz in I on. I accept it. When you buzz in on Jeopardy, he's not like, are you sure about that? <laughs> is this Jeopardy? Is that the level of. This, this is a very this esteemed is show. Very esteemed. So wait, so award what's, winning. The, what's the uh, what's the euro? 
I closed the tab already. It was <laughs> it's more than the U.S. dollar, yeah. but less than the pound. Okay. okay. And was was Mike right that the Australian dollar is? Oh, worth, that's that's yeah. garbage. So the U.S. dollar is right in the middle. The the Australian and yuan were less than that, and the euro and pounds are more than the that. Aust- like the Australian dollar. You just you feed it to the the kangaroos. Oh, it's feed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, pellets. Yeah, like you know, it's how you, the only pellet coin that is out you there. You know how you go to the zoo and you yeah. they're like feed the whatever animals. You put the quarter in. Mm-hmm. It's uh, the, that is actually Australian dollars. Yeah. Once you when, when you, <laughs> you just yeah, feed them the it's quarters. Just shred, it's shredded. Well, Australian you put the quarter dollars. in, you get the equi- equivalent out. <laughs> Also, I don't know why. We're, we're sorry, man. Uh, I don't know why I'm attacking Australia. I don't know why either. You it's, like Australia. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. So Filled it would, with jellyfish it would be and kangaroos? $75,000. Oh, that's not but, much different. Just a little down. Not, mu- I mean, not much. It's $25,000. Compared to the one? Yeah, okay, 15000 well, Okay. okay. Didn't okay. one of you guys choose one final answer? <laughs> um, yeah. One of us did. Oh, boo. Oh, we're gosh. still going. Okay. We're still going. Uh, <laughs> <Dana. laughs> Dean from the website, oh. would you rather the world be rid oh. of all chairs or all tables? Oh. Look, my lap, easy, my lap is a great table. That's an easy answer. Not for, I, uh, not for all foods. I think. I want to say. So, so what would be the, the lap problem? You ever had a steak dinner on your lap? I could have it on my lap. You could. <laughs> It would be that would be a, the suboptimal because you do need two hands for that. Yeah, no table it means like you're not like putting it. You're you're on the ground. You know. Yeah, what these mean? aren't like, high tops, right? Though, if you have no chair, these are regular sized tables. Right. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. I mean, that that's you don't get a cheat with because a high top. Do you? You're you're Why, bending what's... over. I need a high top. I hold on. I can't live. <laughs> are you gonna stand up? <laughs> He's testing this out. Eating. This is a good over. show. No, this, wow, this table's work. little. So you just have to. We would have to lean over. Here's the thing. I don't think you realize <laughs> the. <laughs> this is how we're doing the show. You, you look like you have a really important point. I look about 14 feet tall. Yeah. One of these two things is used occasionally, and one of these two things is used for so much of your life you don't realize, and the chair is monumentally important i mean you are you listening right now you're either doing a chore or you're in a chair you're probably in a chair you're in a seat you're in a car chairs final answer is a is a walk a chore jason a walk is not a chore people don't well, walk and listen who just goes on a walk to listen to the spitballers a lot of people a lot of people a lot really? of people what about a run my mother oh she listens to this every morning every Mom monday shame. morning on her walk yeah. <laughs> okay, I've been put in my place by mama. Um, my apologies. Uh, but, I I mean, the table's really only important when it's time to eat. Right? It's only important when you need a table? <laughs> well, I'm saying, when do you need a table outside of when you want to eat? I guess we... So our, Is a desk a table? Oh, a desk is a table. That's a problem. Yeah, that's a big problem. No desks? I gotta use my lap. I could work all day on a couch. No, you. I can't. guess you would get couches. Wait, in this world, you would get could I have singed. tables, but we just pull couches up? No, <laughs> no cheat codes. All right. Well, well, but if chairs are gone, I still get a stool, right? No. No, that's a chair. It's without a back. This isn't. This is what? It's uh, basically sitting. It's a well, sitting. Yes, pin. it's sitting, but a chair is not a stool. This question's heart and the spirit that we're really trying to get after here is: Would you rather not have a place to put things? Or would you rather not be able to take a load off? Okay, you don't get a couch then. Well, I do because I chose chair. <laughs> so if I don't have a desk, Andy's right. I'm working on the couch. I uh, plus I can you could sit on the floor if you had to eat a steak. Can't. Honestly, if there if we got rid of chairs, we'd all probably be healthier. Oh, people. way healthier. Sitting is one of the least healthy things you can do. It it's like scientifically proven to shorten lifespans. If you're in the, I've the heard is this the it's, same man that just talked about nobody walking around? <laughs> the same guy's lecturing us on the value. I, there's a difference between having the knowledge and following it. Okay, okay. all right. So I sit a whole lot. I'm a, I look. So why I you, like to live dangerously. <laughs> why, <laughs> why don't you get rid of chairs? Oh, because I sit too much to get rid of chairs. There, um, it's too comfortable. 
All right, we'll move on. Uh, Jess from Patreon, would you always uh, would you rather always be afraid? Oh no, what safe? No, what? Or never be afraid, but always in danger. Je- <laughs> this is a mind job. Oh, my, my, man. Our, our friend Jess from Patreon here does not have an anxiety <laughs> disorder because anxiety is called always being afraid, but you're safe. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's fair. And, and let me tell you, you don't feel safe because you feel afraid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the point, right? And. I have not. I have not dealt with this really at all. Right. You, so no. I've, no panic attacks. No ever panic for Jason. attacks. No. This guy's never been on the side of a freeway, worried about a spider <laughs> on a dashboard that he can't overcome. Well, in those cases, I was actually in danger. I've been afraid. You were not. Real. A, you were not actually in danger. Well, not with the spider <laughs> one, but I was. I have been. A, I, I'm you in were, danger on the side of a freeway at night. Yes, not, because you chose to pull off to the side because you were afraid of something that was. I'm talking right. about the flat tire. That oh, one was that okay. one was full danger. All right, touche. Um, the question is: is can you can you be safe if you feel afraid? Are you actually safe? No. That's my that would no. be my my uh, evaluation of the question is that if you feel afraid, you don't feel safe. Well, right. I mean, you don't. So feel- you might be actually safe, which is the point of what it's saying. But you're not. It. But it doesn't matter because perception is reality. Yeah. If you perceive that you are not safe you have a panic attack and if you've never experienced a panic attack it is the absolute pits because you think you're gonna die at any moment so as somebody that's dealt with that mike would you rather never be afraid yes you're always in danger yes oh very much because then it won't matter yeah it really doesn't matter. matter if you're always in danger what difference does it make to you? Danger well, is you're only- gonna die. <laughs> That's right. Like, how long can you always be in danger before it, it comes wrecking? You're gonna die too. Well, not every man <laughs> truly lives. I mean, if you are not afraid but always in danger, I mean, that's the way. That's better. Yes, it's one way of them better. is mental torture. It's way one of better. them is one of them is uh, complete ignorance, and ignorance is bliss so if you're ignorant of the danger a lot of the danger get, doesn't matter oh, that's yeah, so, but if that sounds so great if you're ignorant of the danger you're gonna get wrecked by it doesn't I mean, matter that's you, are, you don't even fine. care yeah it's, you're not afraid well but what about what are, about when you get injured you're in danger because something is about to fall off of the roof onto your head then you're probably going to do something super cool because you're you have no fear <laughs> you're <laughs> gonna you're gonna do some kind of backflip jump out Would you way. rather be afraid 24-7 just knowing you're safe? Like you sign a contract today, like the next year is good, but I live a year so, in terror. And, and, and the, <laughs> the only way that you can place this for Jason is you think that every single room you are in has a gigantic spider. Yeah. <laughs> and you cannot. Give me real danger. That's, that's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, you just, you just painted a Picasso. <laughs> it was magnificent. The Mona Lisa is there. You cannot have. It's in a corner the somewhere. You can't see it. So I have had anxiety. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm someone who's never really experienced anxiety, but oh, yes, I have. Yes. Okay, that's a no go. <laughs> that is a non starter. Yeah. Put me put me in the water with the sharks and I'm cool, calm, and collected. Yeah, that is a good picture of like not being afraid. You're just in the ocean, ba- yeah. on a backstroke. Oh. Dangers all around you, but you just see the sky. I'm having a great time, <laughs> chomp. <laughs> Man, I hope that chomp's in the right place. Yeah. yeah. The neck. Yeah. All right. Theo. If I ever get bit by a shark. I hope it's in the neck. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you. <laughs> the amount of times I've talked about this. Uh, that's true, though, right? I mean. No. Well, no, it's not true. Unless you're on the, if you're on the coast, I want the leg. Yes. If yeah. I'm in the middle of the ocean, just quick and easy. Do you want to? No. Because they might take a bite of you in the middle. You're not surviving a bite in the middle of the ocean. You want to. And quick, you'll feel the pain. Yeah. Although the salt water will yes, help, you, right? You, you'll survive. There's surfers get bit sometimes. Not surfers enough. aren't in the middle of the ocean. We're talking about like. Yeah, you're on it like you're. What are you doing in the middle of the ocean? That's what I mean. <laughs> I guess there are other problems here outside of the sharks. If I were abandoned What's in better? the middle of the ocean. What's better? Would you rather be in the middle of the ocean? No. Like, no hold on. Hold on. No. Your boat, it, it capsizes. You're the last man standing, right? You've got a, I don't know. You've got a little piece of wood that you're holding on to. Okay. Would you rather 
if you're going to die, would you rather the shark come and eat you? Yeah. From the bottom up. Oh. oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I, get or, it, I get it. Or it's just a slow wait for the eventual drowning or starvation. Man, that and is. And do you end up starving to death if you've. I know this is morbid and it's turned terrible. And I know Al's looking at me like it's morbid. Um, I, which would you rather? Which you would, would you rather die, buddy? You would uh, dehydrate. Give me the first. shark. Yeah, I think you. I think you would dehydrate. Exposure. I think, well, and I would. Oh, yeah, that too. If you just drink enough of the water, that'll take care of you business. Also, you turn into the lizard king. <laughs> All right. Um, I. That's how you get to Atlantis. <laughs> I think I'm going to avoid the shark. I think I'm going to avoid the shark in that situation. Right. I will eventually go loopy and not know what's going on, and and then get eaten by a shark. I'm just <laughs> never getting on a boat. Oh well, that is one way to avoid it. I'm sorry for that sidebar. <laughs> uh, Theo, you can only eat one of these pairings for the rest of your life. Which would you rather have? Grain, oh. Grains and fruit. Okay. Meh. Meat and vegetables. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Grain and vegetables. Okay. okay. So real quick. Or meat, of, meat and fruit. Point of clarity here. They're saying grains. No one likes that. It's bread. But yes, thank you. Bread and fruit, meat Bre- and vegetables. That bre- changes everything. It bread changes and vegetables. Because to me, it was just it was oatmeal. Right, right. That was right. like they're, they're just saying we well, want. It was a bag oatmeal. of granola for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, this is bread, bread and fruit, meat and vegetables. Okay, bread and vegetables okay. or meat and fruit. Look, bread. Easy answer. Yeah, I mean it's not. If I'm looking meat and vegetables, bread and vegetables, I'm not choosing the bread and vegetables. I'm choosing the meat and vegetables. There's, this is so funny because we were just before the show talking about, you know, like feeling tired, and I had I just told Danny I'm like. I, I'm no longer on it because it's difficult, but I, I did a, a keto diet for like two years and I don't, I, I like, I don't know the science. I don't it's know the, bread the part, medical buddy. stuff, it's but it's the bread, but legitimately I had never felt better in my life than like more energy, just mental clarity than when I was on, when I, when I only ate. Meat and vegetables. Because that's essentially what keto is, is protein and vegetables. And a lot of people out there have done gluten-free, which is no bread. And if you right. do gluten-free... But you can still, I felt, eat, you I can felt still that, eat like rice and stuff, you can, right? Yeah, car- other carbohydrates like rice or um, other flowers. Did you, and you were, you felt, were, felt you were gluten-free for uh, over a year at least. At least a year, yeah. Felt spectacular. Yeah, I mean, it's just... But bread tastes It's tremendous. so good. Yeah, I, I spent six months on an all-bread diet. <laughs> <laughs> it was outstanding. Bread only. Uh, yeah. I woke up and it was five years later. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is why I've aged so quickly. Um, no, bread is delicious. But in oh, this so good. in this situation of pairings, there are only two with meat, and it's meat and vegetables or meat and fruit. And while fruit is more delicious than vegetables, meat and vegetables go really well together. They do. I mean, it I does not seem like meat and fruit are a good. No, they're combo. not a good pairing. I don't want like a steak and strawberries. That's just I want a steak and asparagus. Which, if I could only choose between strawberries I mean, or asparagus, meat, I would take now, strawberries. Meat and potatoes. Is that is that because you've never been offered a steak and strawberries? That is why. Possibly because I've never been offered that. And the second you said that, I went. Hmm. I wonder how that would be. I wonder if how a filet mignon and strawberries would work out. <laughs> Or what about a uh, a fine porterhouse and banana? Yeah, what the yeah. hell would that work out? Some kind of ribeye with a blueberry puree on mm. top. Well, no, no, don't what? Don't mix them, buddy. You, I, we, I'm, were, we were on a roll, and you're over here. You want to glaze up the meat? My 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 point here is that the flavors don't work together. People do f- uh, a fruit glaze on a meat, right? Yeah, like a mango. Yeah, like a you mango. ever had orange chicken uh, from Panda Express? On a, on a chicken. It's chicken. Well, chicken is meat, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you, but for others, it might be. The meat comes in one color, and it's red. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mike, what is your final answer on this I'm one? Going, if I have to pick, I'll go meat and vegetables. Well, I need more. Because I'll feel better. I need more insight into the world. And so we're going to turn to Jason Explains for that. Did so you have something you wanted to add? I did have one more thing to add. All right. I think that I might be falling into a trap here with the whole going with meat immediately thing. And the health, you know, you talk about meat and vegetables, great. Yeah. I've got pretty much carbs gone. There's some, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm carb-free with my meat and vegetables. But I think if I removed meat, like I've thought about this for myself personally before. Okay. 
if I went vegetarian, like that sounds insane. That's that's mm-hmm. extremely off brand. Um, but if I went vegetarian and said I I just don't eat meat, almost everything I like is gone, and I gotta assume I'd be healthier. You can't, you can't. I mean, think about this: fast food. What do you what do you get if you sure. can't have meat? Yeah, no tacos, no that's, burgers. That's no. very true. But let me ask you: What's your favorite snack food, Jason? My favorite snack food right now is nuts. Like okay. honey, uh, honey okay. roasted peanuts, but mm. uh, like potato chips. Oh yeah, you know, you can still eat potato chips. Yeah, yeah, like Cheetos. A, oh yeah, no, I'm I, don't hear what I'm not saying. I could be a fat vegetarian. I'm sure I could pull that off. Oh, it, it exists. But I'm saying like I, f- I would lose a lot of weight on that diet. I think I would. I think I would lose a lot of weight if I went vegetarian. Okay. You want to go vegetarian? Oh, man, no. (laughs) No, no, never. (laughs) Never. All right, all right. Uh, It's time to play Jason Explains. Hey, Spitwads, uh, let's talk about Harry's. Look, have you looked in in the mirror recently? like really looked and then you noticed that you have maybe a beard situation going on that uh, it's not so hot anymore and you need something to help you out. Maybe it's a little too hot, literally. Harry's has got you covered. Uh, They were created differently than every other shaving company because they combine high quality, long lasting blades and durable weighted handles, but then they make it very enjoyable to shave, but then they make it very inexpensive and affordable and I've been using them for five plus years. Keep buying refills. Keep loving their uh, products. And that's because refill blades start as low as two bucks. There's never been a better time to try Harry's. Go to harrys.com slash spitballers to get their starter set for just three bucks. It's 100% satisfaction guaranteed, so you got nothing to lose. Go to harrys.com slash spitballers right now to get this special offer. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com slash spitballers. <laughs> Jason explains in sixty seconds. It's been Al. It's been a while f- since we did this. It has. Yeah. I have. Lo- I have not learned as much about the world as I had hoped. So I'm glad it's back. Well, get ready. Yeah. Spin that wheel. About to learn. What is Jason going to teach us about, that's, Mike? That's definitely a wheel. Yeah. Um. Hold on. Here we go. Hold on. Daylight savings time. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. So that's daylight, a good one. daylight savings time is actually about to happen. It's actually pretty easy to explain. That's right. Arizona does not switch. We don't roll back our clocks. Daylight savings time was something that they made. In, uh, there was a, a man um, who was named Roger Federico. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> so what happened is, is about 400 years ago, um, right when the uh, great United States of America was being founded, they, <laughs> what happened was they, deci- they, they noticed that as they traveled west, the right. uh the the you know it just seemed like it was brighter longer and there was this problem and as so, they were traveling as they were as they were traveling <laughs> west it just stayed bright for so long because they were they were going very fast they had horse and carriage and and so when they, <laughs> they got there what happened is they realized oh my gosh I I I have so much light. I love this. They went back home to where they originally settled, and they were like, "It's so dark here." Um, it's because mm, it's it was on the east. Because it was on the east, and they're like, "We've got to we got to roll our clocks." And so mm. they they instituted daylight savings where uh, the clocks were earlier, <laughs> so that they got more nightlight. And oh. um and so they do that. And so for and for this half, was all Federico. This was Federico. Yes, Roger Federico. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he also was a great tennis, tennis player. <laughs> yes. Um. And uh, so, anyways, that, that's not, but but not actually related to Roger Federer. No, it's, totally on just, un- totally just huge coincidence. <laughs> um, and so <laughs> that happened. But, but the reality is, they realized that it was only part of the years in the winter months when that happened. So they they uh, stopped. Originally, daylight savings was just they saved daylight forever. But then like they in realized the jar. No, just just they 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 rescued it. Okay. As uh, just as a entity, and then they realize, oh, we we over we overstretched. Mm, um, we too, only much to, sun. too much sun. Too much sun. Gotcha. It was always so, day. That's right. And so then they rolled it back half the year, and that's where daylight savings. Is that what happened to Alaska? <sighs> oh, Alaska was never included in this. <laughs> that's why it's never. They don't have much. They daylight. They don't have any daylight. No. Wow. Yeah. I don't now know. You know. It, now I understand. Um, now you get to spell stuff. <laughs> oh no. Highway to spell. 
what did I do to you, Al Borland? You, I got the scat. You're doing Highway to Spell, making me explain stuff. You let John Stone kill that spider. Oh, this was payback. People did enjoy that story. All very, right. very much. To the point of tears. Yeah. I will say, if Andy wins a fourth in a row, we might have to retire the segment. So, step it up. You know, I was going to say, I feel a little bit of pressure to keep it going. Jason, did you hear what he just said? Uh, he said Andy won four in a row. He said if Andy wins again, we never do this segment oh, again. Oh, I love it. It's a big mistake yeah, there. Yeah, you, you <laughs> give me couch. Dang it. Couch. C-O-K-U-T-C-H. <laughs> couch. Are you going to the mall <laughs> later today? <laughs> Is that a Billy Madison? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. All right. Back to Highway to Spell. Yep. We're going to start in sixth grade. Andy. Jason gets to kick it off, right? Uh, I was going to. Sure. Well, well I Jason mean, he's a it. scouter. I just did. I thought there was a yeah, standard. There's here. rules to this show. Great idea. All, All right, right, Jason. Here's your sixth grade level word. Oh, I don't Unbelievable. Want... Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard the word. I'm like, this is this is easy. Um, yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, shoot. All right. Believe is. I before yeah, I before you accept that, accept but then not sometimes they they trick you. Um, <laughs> Except for when it's not. <laughs> oh shoot! Yeah, okay. Have we now just to clarify? Just to we have not ever had the first word spelled wrong. Is that correct? Correct. Cool. Unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. U n b e l i e b a b l e Unbelievable. Yeah, smartest you did it. man you alive. Did it. Well done. Thank you. All right, we'll go to Mike next. Mike, here. Wait, what? Wow, this Are is... you setting me up to fail? What is going on here? No, I just had it in the doc as Andy, Mike, Jason, but we started with Jason, so I'm go- working Why backwards. would you have it in the doc so incorrectly? Yeah. Okay, let's go to Andy. Genius. Vegetable. Ooh. Yeah. Vegetable. Vegetable. V-E-G. <laughs> E T A B L E <laughs> vegetable. But I, I was afraid. Ve- I almost said like a J instead of a G in my own, in <laughs> my own, answer. My own writing. So vegetable, vegetable. vegetable. Yeah. All right. Is it when, cool uh, if I go are to are Mike we next? supposed to use this in a sentence? Yeah, you can go normal order. <laughs> All right, Mike. Here's your sixth grade level word. It's back to Jason. Penguin. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm sorry. I was talking. What's the word? Penguin. What? Penguin. I got that one. It sounds. I mean, it's it sounds worse than it is. Play it again. Penguin. Penguin. P e n g u i n. Okay. All right. Now, now, I, now I, it's just gravy for us, gentlemen. I, yeah. I I thought I was walking into a trap. No, it, it, you're always it, look. G W. If, if you're listening at home, you hear, I in. You hear vegetable. You hear unbelievable, yeah. and it's like no problem. I hear these words. It's no problem. You say you get penguin. Mm-hmm. No problem. I I sit over here. I write it down. No yeah. problem. When you are on the clock, yeah. and you are told spell penguin in front of hundreds of thousands of people here, at least with dozens. Your, I mean, I. It's so hard because you know there's going to be a trap at some point. All right, what's my word? Seventh grade. Oh, no. Campaign. Oh, campaign. That's okay. Hold on. Not cam- the Suns player. Cam. Oh, not campaign. He's running a great cam- presidential campaign. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. There's multiple versions there are, going there down. There are three versions. So if one he of crossed them one out. Go- he didn't like how no, it looked. He's, he's going back in, and he has a third option being... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is where I exit, gentlemen. <laughs> I'll see you later. It's not the bad one. Um, oh yeah, boy. To be fair, this word is stupid. How how have we allowed so many of You've these? You've had a problem with English words for a long time. Be- All right. Okay, wait till he spells it, and then we'll decide, is that correct? He's going for a fourth version on his little notepad. Okay. All right, here so we you go. Have campaign. A campaign. You you have a twenty five percent chance of if one of those is correct. If one of yeah, these is correct, right. that's right. Yeah. I would love it if I wrote four versions. They're all wrong. All four wrong. All right. <clears throat> campaign. C A M. Okay. P. Okay. Aim. <laughs> campaign. Uh, a I G N. All right. Yeah. You did it. Well I had done. an E Con- after it at one point. Champagne. Yeah. Champagne. <laughs> okay, but seriously, campaign. What is a G doing in that word? 
they, look, I I don't. No, it's got a good point. I, it's stupid. It's stupid. What you is can't that doing in that, there? I mean, it's just the the evolution of you know where there's certain. I mean, it's it's, it's uh, what do the kids learn? They learn the Latin. No, but the uh, <laughs> good. We're still doing that. The the fo- f- phonograms. Phonograms. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. yeah anyway. So campaign. C A M P A I N. Campaign. That was done. One that I wrote down. I knew it was wrong, but I wrote but I'm, it. I'm, it's just it's so ridiculous. Like you get lat, We, we got to learn Latin. We're not teaching. But don't you understand that? Like if somebody's default was Wayne W A Y N E. Why isn't it Cam P A Y N E? I agree. Why or not? are you saying Wayne's name should be W A I N? That, is, that yes. is exactly what I am saying. Wayne There's, W A I N. But somebody ends up naming them. I mean, like we have in the in the evolution of coding, like we have C plus plus, and we have other. We're not teaching people C plus because it doesn't matter anymore. Latin doesn't matter anymore. All right, we've got Fix an angry old man on the show today. Uh, what's my word? All Some, right, Andy, seventh grade level word. Precipitation. Precipitation. Wait. Precipitation? Yeah, that's what she it's said. It's precipitation. P-R-E-C-I-P-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. Precipitation. Damn. I love when I spell everyone else's words right easily. Precipitation. Yeah, she said, <laughs> if you have that word to play again, she definitely said precipitation. Play it one more time. Hold on, I closed it. Oh. Command shift T. Precipitation. Yeah, she says precipitation. Mm. I'm hearing precipitation. <laughs> I didn't listen. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot to listen. I'll be honest. <laughs> All right, next Here, word. we'll try this. Precipitation. That's much there better. You okay. go. That's much better. Precipitation. Mike's All right, turn. Mike, you're up. Seventh grade level word. Hit me. Emphasize. Where are these M? Man, that's so easy. <laughs> I I should be. Hit me one more time. Oh shit. Emphasize. Precipitation. <laughs> Wait, I'm not sure about mine anymore. Emphasize. E M P H A S I Z E. Emphasize. Two rounds in. We're the smartest people alive. Also, yeah. what where are these like what dialect are you like what what uh well, what like are you the, using over there? Saying the, I'm using uh, the lexico dictionary. Hmm. I can switch to Merriam-Webster if you prefer. No, you're I, you're. I would prefer American. Oh, okay. <laughs> American dictionary. All right, Jason. Precipitation. Your eighth grade level word. Circumference. Oh, you're done. <laughs> Sir, come. I might be done on that one. For ants. <laughs> Sir, come for. Oh man, I've written a it lot is. of wrong ones. It's circumference. Circumferterance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, can I hear that again? Circumference. This is where I leave you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, sir. Farewell. <laughs> One more time. Uh, <laughs> play that word. Circumference. <laughs> Okie dokie. Circumference. S no. All right. C I R C U M P H E R. Oh, I'm already <laughs> wrong. Andy's already shaking his head. A N C E. Circumference. Oh, tell me how many how many places did I get it wrong? It's an F, right? It is an F. Okay. What? And it's E N C E. No, I had it. I actually had it right. Did you have it? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, farewell. Maybe. We'll see if we yeah, fail. Yeah, you could tie true. for first. That's true. <clears throat> All right, Andy, your eighth right. grade level word. Innumerable. What the heck? What? Innumerable? Innumerable. Okay. All right. I got my guess. I got my guess. Oh, boy. Innumerable. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, there's an innumerable <laughs> amount of words I could spell better than this one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I-N-N-U-M-E. E R A B L E innumerable. Oh, Damn, you give him the easy no! ones. I was questioning Mike. You erased over there. Don't even worry about my <laughs> correct. Did you go one in? I may have started with an E. Okay. Oh, I got it right. Dig nugget. All right, Mike. This all one's right. for all the marbles. 
<laughs> See if I can win a fourth. In so a row. I can't. I didn't win know now. I could spell until this segment began. So wait, if I get this wrong, this segment's done. Oh, that's a lot of weight on my shoulders. That's an e- no, it's not. Jason, how much money you got on? You? I've got a <laughs> hundred bones for you. <laughs> All right, Mike. Here's your eighth grade level word. Characteristic. Character. Tr- tr- oh gosh, characteristic. Care. <laughs> Start with carrot. Care. I feel like this Nick. one is very easy. Which you're one? you're easy. Characteristic. <laughs> oh gosh. Character. Oh my gosh. So if I get this wrong, I lose. Yeah. <sighs> Character. Characteristic. C H. A R A C T E R I S T I C. That's how I spelled it. Uh, yes! yes! So I would have got ah! both of their words right. Ah! Still alive. <laughs> I thought a, I had it done. How does it feel to be alive? <laughs> all right, moving on to ninth grade. We should have started with Andy. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We all get one per round. Mm. All right, Andy, your ninth grade level word? Reservoir. No oh, piss. Reservoir dogs. Res. Wait. I what? wrote that way too quick to be right on this. Hold one. on. Play Reservoir. 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 I'm going with it. R e s e r v o i r. Reservoir. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It was that. It was that middle R. The middle was, R got me as well. Is it reservoir or reservoir? You see, when they say these names out loud, I are these words. I remember these words are words I know. I don't need them to say it. I need it. Them saying, oh, wait, what is that? I've, I've, I've said the word reservoir before. Yeah, right. but do you say reservoir or reservoir? I'm pretty sure I know what the word is. But which, what, which one do you say? Reservoir. You put the R in there? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel better having not gotten that one right. You missed that one? I did miss that. You that missed, R you missed in the, the middle. secret R? I missed the secret R. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Secret. Well, let's see if Mike can stay alive. All right. I like this battle. All right, Mike, your ninth grade level word. Accompaniment. Oh, gosh. Accompaniment? Accompan. <laughs> well, see, my problem is I spelled what? it just like it sounds. I gave you a music word. Accompany. Is that what you have? I think that's the There's same. no way that's right. That yeah. doesn't look like a word. Well, we both we both took the same shots. So. Yeah. Accompaniment. Andy and I got this easy. <laughs> <laughs> you loser! Come on. <laughs> Accompaniment. A C C O M P A N I E M E N T. You were so close. It, just get rid of that e that you put after the i, and you would have had it. You just put an Wait, extra. Wait, it's an i, not a y. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Correct. spell, spell it for I. real. Uh oh. A C C O M P A N I M E N T. Andy and I both would have Wait got it a wrong. minute. Wait a minute. Accompaniment has is just an I? Well, nobody you says just, accompaniment. You just put an extra syllable in there when yeah, you said Yeah, you just said a, a different no, no, word. No. Accompaniment. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yes, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I was trying to emphasize the E sound, but it's an I. Yeah, because it's yeah. accompaniment. Yeah, like it's, compliment isn't compliment. <laughs> compliment? Compliment is an I, isn't it? Yes. And this is accompaniment. Mm, I, I No, I I really ha- I have no debate with the word. It, here, here's you the are a liar. A, it's not accompaniment. Here's, accompaniment. Accompaniment. Yes. Yeah. And there's no E. It's just an I. We well to be fair, as Andy and I sit here on our iron throne here, we had a Y. We thought it was a N Y M E N T. There's no E. It's just an I. What a stupid word. <laughs> Mike is losing it. I mean, and no, he lo- he's losing. He lost. Uh, off to the draft we go. Four in a row for old Andy Mint. Retire it. We want to thank Trade Coffee for supporting this show. Look, Trade's goal is to make every cup of coffee your best cup yet. I'm a bit of a coffee snob, you, uh, no, connoisseur, no, no, you, you baby. Just, you know your way around coffee. Yeah, I mean, I like it all. I like all the different kinds. And if you go on Trade's website, you can basically, I mean, you could be a newbie 
or you could be a pro. It doesn't matter. You could get yourself some some French press. You could get yourself some cold brew. You can get yourself some beans, some grounds, whatever, whatever you want, whatever you're used to drinking. And then they're going to curate and pick from 400 plus coffees based on a quiz you fill out. You'll get a different roasted bag of coffee every week from very special roasters and brewers. It's great. And- like, it, it's confusing. I'm a coffee newbie, and this world of coffee, I like it, but it's just there's so many. Sometimes and I need, need a some, guide. I need some help. That's right. And uh, you can feel good about each cup of coffee since trade partners with 55 different small U.S.-based roasters who are committed to ethical and sustainable sourcing for our listeners right now. Trade is offering your first bag free and five dollars off your bundle at checkout. To get yours, go to drinktrade.com/ballers and use the promo code Ballers. Take the quiz to start your journey to the perfect cup. That's drinktrade.com/ballers. Promo code Ballers for your first bag free and five dollars off your first bundle. Enjoy. <laughs> The Spitballers Draft. I am looking forward to this draft as well as doing these things when I am older because we are drafting things old people do. I had an idea here. So last week, last week we dressed like how dads dress. Yeah, the we most did. Dad yeah. Uh-huh. clothing. And so it's really like the stereotypes of the dads. And now we're going older. Now we're saying, well, well what does the old person do? I want to know, like, when are, we, when are we getting them kids on blast? Oh, mm-hmm. Then the teens and the... Like stupid things kids do? Yeah. All right. <laughs> the list is too big. Poop okay. their pants. <laughs> so, uh, how... <laughs> what age? Ironically, yeah. that's also things old people do. Oh. <laughs> oh that's funny. Well, we are drafting things Also, there's things only old one do. person here who's pooped their pants. But, but we're not trying to build the most stereotypical old person. We're trying to draft the best things that old people do. Oh, wait, we're doing the best things? Well, just things that old people do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, maybe I misunderstood. I mean, we can go whatever best direction you things? want. I assumed we were drafting things that we... I did not draft... I did not prepare for the best things old people okay, do. Okay, whatever you want to do. Then. Okay. You're the first pick. All right. <laughs> Ruin the draft. Old people, what do... Oh, well, the first thing that came to mind... I don't think this is a great one-on-one uh, to have. Well, they did, because the whole list it. is... No, no, no. I'm saying, the, like... There's almost all these things on my list are equal to the others. But the first thing that came to mind when I think of like, what is something an old person does? And mm-hmm. it's go to bed at five o'clock. I mean, yep. it, it, yeah, is, okay. it's, it is yes. the super early bedtime. And they're de- like, they were big fans of Roger Federico. <laughs> they love the daylight now, savings. Like they, what's confusing. I mean, maybe I'm ruining someone else's pick. That's going to say they get up early, but like, that's the problem is they get up so early that they have to go to bed at 5 p.m. Why not just get up at a regular hour and then you can go to sleep at well, a regular hour? Is it to avoid the rest of the normal population? Probably. Probably. I woke up at three in the morning. Because it is true. They do get up crazy early because they go to sleep at 5 p.m. It's yeah. a bit of a. But how does the transition happen? What, that's mm-hmm. what I want to know. Does it did does a birthday happen? <laughs> and then it's like, well, I'm not allowed up past five. That's the the, the law <laughs> says. Just, it, there's one day in every old person's life you you hit you hit a day and like you end up staying up a little bit too late and that's the cycle. Yeah, and eventually it corrects and then you're going to sleep too early. All right. Well, I am going to take a very similar one, but I can't help but take it first on my list, which is napping. Mm, yep. An old person. It was number one on my list. Loves to nap. And frankly, I love to nap. I was saying, I don't want, I don't want this to sound like, at least me making fun. I want to be an old person. Everything on this entire list. You maybe that's trying. why I said best things <laughs> is because they're all my best things. Yeah, this is this is your best life. You are. Just, I am waiting. You can't for the day they tell me you have to go to bed at five. I mean, I am dying for this. And napping, I you know, you why do you nap when you're an old person? Because you got nothing to do. I mean, you have been walking around your house for so long. And it's, you can it's, only vacuum the carpet so many times. It's the bomb. And it, you got to have a napping chair. Yeah. It's I'm, I'm the going, bomb? That's right. I'm getting old with it. Getting old with it, Jason. All right. I, I'm I, napping. If you put these two things together, it's just impressive. Like, if I took a nap, the, the thought of me getting to bed at five, like, that's ruined. Yeah. So I, I'm going to go with really? nap as my first pick. 
You yes. haven't you haven't hit the point where you can nap and still go to sleep on time? Not earth not at five. <laughs> no. Isn't it, isn't it interesting though that the older you get, the closer you are to the end. So mm -hmm. you would think that the thing you want you, the you, most is time, but the thing you actually have the least of is time because you sleep so much that your time goes by faster. And you're because you're like, yeah, I've, I've had enough. Yeah. I've if anything, be napping as a kid to get older. <laughs> if anything, just like you're just trying to get closer. Yeah, it's like maybe this time <laughs> I won't wake up. All right. We're moving on. Take Mike's, me away, Lord. Mike, Mike's got, I've had enough. <laughs> if we, we didn't draft dying. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. That, that should have that should have been one. Oh, man. Things old people do. <laughs> Take that, old people. <laughs> oh, Die. You bodied because of your age. Yeah. <laughs> you lived a full life. <laughs> oh. All right, Mike. Two picks for you. All right. Uh, number one. Number, <laughs> let's oh, no. see. Uh, there's just. It, uh, there's so many ways you could go with this. I had a lot of yeah. I, there's, there's there's a lot of thoughts. Uh, but we'll go uh, like we'll we'll go a little more with uh, the tech version. Uh, number one, Facebook. <laughs> Old people love Facebook. I haven't logged on to Facebook, and I'm not really sure. Oh, me either. <laughs> but but I know who's on there. All of my family members who are older than me, and they're all on there sharing garbage. <laughs> now, when getting I, each with other, one another, getting each other riled up. When I no, think memes of, too, man. With, with stuff that is not fact checked. When I think of Facebook, I definitely think of uh, an older crowd now. Like certainly, yes. I haven't been on there in forever. But when I think of this, and I think of like things old people do, I'm thinking of like 80s. Are people in their 80s on Facebook now? Oh yeah, yeah. crazy. Yes, crazy. No, they're, they're I'm so I'm proud of them to be honest. You shouldn't be because they're on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Facebook is your first pick. All right, things old people do. Oh, yeah. There's like there's some stuff that I know. I. Sh it's playing the draft game of like what can come back to me and what cannot, and uh, whatever. I, mean, I I I don't know how this became a thing. Maybe it's because this is what. Uh, this is and this is no fault to old people. I get it. Things that I did when I was young, like that's it. That's the cat's pajamas, as the old people would say. They all, they always have hard candy. Oh. They, got, they got a they got a pocket just full of hard candy. Is that what that is? Is because hard candy was the thing back I'm when guessing they were, it probably didn't expire as fast. Like is our, is our version of that going to be like gushers? Like are all the old people in our generation <laughs> slamming yep. gushers all the time? Yep. We turn our hats backwards. We put on really wacky sunglasses. <laughs> they they and have we talk about so how zany so gushers so are. You're telling Radical. me that they are they are popping out the word of their originals to stay young. Yes. Ooh, I didn't know that. Wow. But I guess hard candy was like, that was candy. That was just called candy in their day. <laughs> Can I get some of that fruit by the foot, fam? Oh, my, that, that'll over. be us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, I like it. Hard candy. I didn't have it on my list. It should have been on my list. That's it was on my one. list. It was on my list. Uh, look, man, can we go five rounds with this one? Maybe. I, maybe. We'll if see. If you don't think you have that many, that's fine. I'm going to go with... Um, <laughs> Oh, he likes this one. <laughs> I have one that no one's picking, so I got to save it you for later. You knocked over an old person. Oh, Mr. Rogers on the desk here. Uh, no, I'm going to go. I'll save that one for later. I think I can strategize. I'm going to go cruises. Okay. <laughs> old people love their cruises. Yeah, okay. I, get I mean, it. what percentage of cruise goers in the world are old people? It's got to be a good 80%. Well, because it's like you have, you have nothing left to spend your money on. I got nothing and, to do. And you have nothing but time. So float over here. Like I could go to a hotel and have all of this like super sweet stuff, but no, I'd I'm gonna go to a hotel in the middle of the ocean. That's what I need to do. I, That's right. But cruises are and the I don't best. get it. I want to cruise, but you don't have time for a cruise right now. That's true. But when I'm old, I'm gonna cruise all the time. There you go. Have you have you heard of those? There's like multi month cruises. What? Yes. And I, then where do just, I get on them? I. <laughs> I don't. I, it's 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 a code of the old people. Actually, one of the giveaways for the highway to spell winner every week. I've, I've got four queued up. Oh, this sucks. But you, yeah, like they have, they just get on it for months because they have nothing else to do because they're old. All right, um, nothing to do but wait. That's really good. I'm really happy for them getting on these cruises. They're having a good time. Um, that we have built them up. They have the financial 
uh, wherewithal they've saved to go on these cruises, I'm going to tear them down. Yeah. Uh, Good. I got two picks here? You do. All right. Number one, complain. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. I mean, they Uh, just... I have it, on my list. It was written down as back in my day. <laughs> it just, just complain, complain about anything. Um, you want to oh, know something disturbing? Yes. Is that we are not old people yet? No. Mm. But I have found that my ability to complain publicly has. Have you heard this podcast? <laughs> has it has increased? Like what do you? What do they call inhibitions? Yeah. The inhibitions of a younger Andy in public are starting to fall away where I suddenly don't really care as much about complaining about complaining. Yeah. And just imagine so I, when you're 80. Oh, I'm going to be the worst. You're going to hate everything. You're going to let everyone know about it. Pre apology to all waiter waiters and waitresses. <laughs> yes. From my eighties. Um, the other thing that is just universal. I don't blame them on this one. I'm sure the same thing will happen for me, but it is very true. They drive so uh, slow. Yeah. I mean, when you see a car going yes. walking speed, you always know who's in that seat. Is <laughs> it like the perception of speed? I I it think goes away because like because you no longer walk very fast either. I think it's uh, you so relativity. Take, you can't take everything in at once, so you're just being safe. You're just being. You got to go but slow. You, but you're not being safe no, when no, you no. drive that slow on the freeway. You're actually causing a hazard. Not Definitely. if you can't see the people around you in the mirror. <laughs> Look, it's another one that flies in the face of I need more time. Like as an as a young person driving fast, you don't need to because you have right. time. As an old person, you drive slow, but you need time. And like in Arizona, I don't know if they like people I don't know if they realize this around the country, but in Arizona, our license our, our driver's license, it doesn't expire for 10,000 years after you get 2049 it. is so, what mine is. Like to the point of I've gone out of state, and they thought I had a fake ID because the expiration date was so far into the yeah, future. You'll be dead before it expires. <laughs> where, where it's like, how is this a safe thing? What it would you don't know what I'm gonna be like in in eighty years? I could go blind in twenty years and drive thirty years yes, from you, now because and m- never be questioned. Nope, it is it is not expired. <sighs> All right, um, things old people do. It's me. It is you. That's okay. you. Uh, look, I'm going to go with something I'm already finding myself doing too much of, which is reminiscing. Mm, okay. Old people love okay. to reminisce because their best days are well behind them, and those are the days we're talking about. What are you going to talk about if you spent the last week watching game shows during the day and oh, going to the grocery store? So good. You I, can't reminisce on that. I guess you don't make a ton of new goals. <laughs> no, you don't have a you don't have a ton of new. I mean, this is. This episode is disturbing on some levels, <laughs> and they, like, you know, you know the 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 ambitions. Don't worry, they're not hearing this podcast. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can, you can put them listening on to podcasts is not is, one of them. Yeah, well, nobody's drafting and, listening and, to podcasts. And if there is, they're not going to admit to it because then they're going to be admitting their own. That's right. They're, if you hear this, you're super cool and young and hip. All right, so I'll go reminiscing for my third pick: uh, the good old days. All right, so I will close out my draft here. I got my two picks. Uh, in this funny enough, this one like just came up. I was on a, a short little vacation with uh, my kids, and and like they want to. Not that I I love the arcade and everything, but th- we're at this hotel. It's got an arcade, and they're like, "Dad, do you got any quarters?" I'm like, "What? No, no, I do not." You know who does have quarters? Old people, because they carry around chains. Loose chains. What are you doing carrying around pennies in in the year two? <laughs> like it's, We're way past Is there, the use of pennies and nickels and dimes. They have no function in this society anymore. Is there Get a chance that these are old pants that they never took them out of? <laughs> there, is, there, is a, there is a tremendous ch- tremendous chance, except for they also have the coin purse. They have a, they have an item that is specifically designed so that they can carry what around do you their chains. Need quarters for anymore? Going Gumball, to the arcade, gumball machines <laughs> in the mall, it. parking meters. They Maybe probably take cards, I don't think right? so. I think they all take cards now. Yeah, but it's like what? And honestly, if you have quarters, okay. But what what do you possibly need under a quarter for? 
Yeah, it's a good point. See, you need it for exact change. When you <laughs> when, oh, when you oh, pay man. cash, you better pay exact change. I'm sure nothing brings greater delight and joy to the old people. Then they, yeah, then they three, pay an exact 14, change and, and they slide out it. What three, Ten. four, five, and then they just stare at you. So I did it. <laughs> so <can't>. Exact change. <laughs> Where this transaction <laughs> is over, I've completed it. Do you need a receipt? No, because I paid Actually, an exact. Change. They do need of receipts. They need yeah, a, they do need receipts. Gotta approve a purchase. Yeah, you gotta put that in the file. Uh, Mike, I might need to bring back this your banana. Third? That was your third pick. Right? Yeah, I got okay. one more. And uh, look, this isn't just all people because uh, guilty, guilty as charged. Uh, but you know what they do? When they want to talk to you, they call you. Oh, old people, be, they be calling you. They don't text. There you are. You're like, oh, crap. Grandma's calling again. There must be an emergency. No. The emergency is I want to say hello and that I love you. And I say, no, Grandma. <laughs> shoot text me, a, me. Shoot me a text message. I don't have time for this phone call. It's it's uh, On my list, I have um, use a landline. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, you, you can't text from a landline. That I know of. Are we mi- are we gonna miss that? Nope. Well, wait, like I said, wait, wait, wait. Landlines are talking. No, the phone calls. Yeah, yeah. I mean, phone calls are good. Phone, you know. W- Sometimes you should just talk to somebody, right? Yes, that's that's good. It's just I, I don't s- want to. There's got to be some old people that write out their texts on a piece of paper and then take a picture of that and text that. And so, like I said, I'm I am very guilty of this, but this is because of efficiency. Like watching my wife text sometimes where it, it's it's it, this is three minutes compiling this one message and then it's wait five minutes and then she will get a a similar message of three paragraphs i'm like oh sweet lord just just call them because this is taking so so long just call them i'll i'll similarly complain because sometimes those text exchanges happen with time imminence where it's like oh are we supposed to meet that family over at this place? Oh, I don't know. I texted her. I'm just like, but we have to leave. Oh, yeah, I don't know where. We're waiting for the text and, to come gotta, back. We got to sit with this. So like, I'm, I'm not clowning old people because I, I do the exact same thing. But, yes, in a, in a moment where you need a message, just just call. There are so but don't many. don't call me to say I love you. I don't get that crap out of my life. <laughs> there are so many. Oh, my gosh. That's so Mike. Um there are so many other picks I have, like literally like 10 other picks that are great. So I don't know which one to go through for my final one. So I'll just go with mall walking. Mall oh, walking, yeah, I'm baby. making plans now. I've already gotten the calendars out for when I'm older. You better cancel them plans because those malls are not going to be around when oh, you're old. Oh, no. <laughs> where the, will you walk? Where am I going to walk? I Indoors. wonder if this is a thing across the country. It or? is, for sure. Okay. It is. So yeah. Both walking in malls and malls closing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, that makes sense. Well, makes I sense. know what you were going to say, though, is because in Arizona, walking outside during half the year is too hot. So you thought maybe yeah. people do it here. But I know it, it, mall walking is like a it's like a thing. It's where it's, the cool people It's go. not just a thing. They open the mall just an, for an that. hour early just so people could go walk around. My, my dad mall walks. Your dad's no, a mall walk. Papa Skids he's, is a mall walker? He's mall walked before, yeah. I don't know how frequently. <laughs> in now, between pickleball days. Now but I mean. Just, you go there. You sh- you go there, and then they open the doors, and then you. It's air conditioned walking, and then you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk. Yeah, yeah. okay. You do because I mean it's pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Up, down, all around. <laughs> okay. Do a couple laps. Um. All you right. Never, so you never w- walked before. Not really. No, I, w- I avoid that. I mean, where if I'm in Disneyland? To sure. be fair, when you were a teenager, you didn't call it mall walking, but. Honestly, what were that, you really doing? You had no money. That's what we, yeah, we had. Exactly. We had no cash, and we were trying to get free stuff at the mall. So we were mall walking. Yeah, but I, I was just checking out Sample girls. Of the China. Like, is that what? Is that yeah, what? they're also they're checking out the other old people, man. Okay. They're living their best St- life. Stay She's young. still alive. He's still alive. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's, not, honey. It's, not, it's not for dating. It's just for curiosity of death. Look uh, how many people are still alive like us. Here comes Gertrude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so am I we just drafting, help ourselves, am I we? just drafting one thing here, um, for the fourth. Yeah. And you got to close pick? it out. Okay. Well, there was, there was some rumor of four okay. or five, so I wasn't sure. 
Um, if there's only one left, oh man, I'm looking at one on my list. Then you got to take it, man. Uh, Come on. Have some courage. No, I don't want to be too mean. <laughs> oh, what? we've been plenty what? mean already. Um, all right, I'll, th this is much higher on my list. I'll take this, and then I'll give a shout out to the mean one because <laughs> it's also true. <laughs> yeah, but it's credit. But I didn't actually take it. Um, right, exactly. I would never. I would never be that mean. Um, but they wear a jacket even when it's not cold. Oh yeah, all, all, all because they're frail and dying. Yes. Jason, they are cold. <laughs> well, sure, but it's annoying because <laughs> their blood like, is so close to the surface. <laughs> I, I mean, you've got to have a jacket or a blanket at all times. I'm sweating in the same room. Have they're you in. seen their veins? I try to avoid looking at the Things mic. Things are about to explode. This does start happening, and we keep our house at a what I would consider to be a cooler side. Okay. But without exception, if my parents come over to watch the kids, I will come back from set of date with my wife. The house will be three degrees turned up. No, it will not. And she will be wearing a jacket. So she will have, <laughs> she will have turned the house way up. And be wearing a jacket. It's That's too warm in here for it's my too, jacket. <laughs> it's too so. Wait, yeah. so what, when does that happen? When does the when does the shift happen? Where menopause? <laughs> okay, yeah, touche, touche. But I was gonna say where the shift where where the person like where you're responsible for the bills, and so you're like, don't you dare touch that AC. Don't you crank it down? But then you get old, and you're like, no, I'm I'm gonna crank it down. Well, no, she'll, she'll turn it up. She'll save me money. Yeah, she makes she's it avoiding. Oh, she's oh. avoiding. I thought she. I thought they yeah. were coming in and like just going luxurious, like sixty two. But then wear the jacket. No, yes. no, no. This is like making it hot inside and then still wearing the ah, jacket. Okay, I see. I see. But uh, what's your pick? Uh, my oh, my pick was yeah. wearing a jacket even when it's not cold. Yeah. But I got I got some good ones on the free agent. Dude, I do too. Marketplace here. Go ahead. I can't believe we didn't draft eating dinner at four yeah or, or early, dinner. Like early, early dinner early dinner for sure um the one that i didn't draft was smell bad oh yeah get body Wait, what? dude when you get real old, I'm old talking, people smell bad oh yeah if you're talking corpses <laughs> no well, yeah because they're, well, they're, if you're, if old you're, people don't smell bad they just smell old what do they smell like mothballs <laughs> i don't know man it's that is so mean and i don't agree well then you haven't been around enough old people i've heard they I'm smell talking really sweet old. 90s um <laughs> wow i play bingo yeah bingo is on oh the list. yes that's not on my list but wearing that's a... huge sunglasses <laughs> yeah. on my list writing checks at the grocery store oh okay, do yet. they still do that very similar to the... they're the only ones the one i was laughing at earlier i never even took but it was feeding the ducks <laughs> Oh, dude, feeding ducks is awesome. I know, but it just seems like something you could do when you're old. Yes, like, you do with your grandchildren. What am I, I going to do today? Feed the ducks. I have uh, forget things. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, how did you not draft that? <laughs> and then uh, uh, dye their hair a non-human color. <laughs> what is <laughs> Like a certain... Like, I don't Like understand. a silvery white or... No, a no, they they dye it... Uh, it's, it's especially old ladies. They dye it a red... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, the a red. A color of red that no one is born with. That no one has this, like... There's red hair that's fantastic. Not this. This is old people red. When you go to... You get old the color... People, that's what you asked for? old people red. Okay. Um, I agree. Uh, sharing photographs. <laughs> um, volunteering... Volunteer. <laughs> I mean, they what a bunch of idiots. <laughs> no, I'm saying they, they have more time. That's what they do. Uh, rocking chair. It, it, oh, that's on yeah. my list. Yeah, so. yeah. Reading books. Voting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! See, now you know why I wanted to draft the best things old people do to avoid some of this yeah. this collateral damage. Um. Oh, that's good. But uh, I mean, old people don't buy from our advertisers, so I mean, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't matter. They're not. They don't know what a podcast is. Have you, have you ever tried to explain what a podcast to a to an old person? Yeah, yeah. I say I'm on the radio. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, uh, that's that's all. Did we forget anything else, Al? No, you, I think you covered. Oh everything. boy, we got them all. What did we learn today? Oh man, I learned that there was a uh man named Roger Federico. <laughs> <laughs> that invented Is that the second time he, we met him? He invented daylight savings time and he's a great tennis player, but yet has nothing to do yeah. with the Roger tennis, Federer. tennis superstar That's Roger right. Federer. I learned that Australian dollars are 
Oh, it's just garbage. They're basically animal feed. Yes. I don't know how they have a functional society. That's a, well, well, they eat but, their money. So. <laughs> they eat their money. I learned that Jason has anxiety, after all. Yeah. I learned that, too. Thank you for listening, supporting the show. Please tell your friends if you would like them to enjoy yeah. their Mondays and their Thursdays. Just not old people. Right. They're going to feel real bad if they listen to this show. Oh, man, we're going to feel so dumb when we're old. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.